Can you tell me a little bit about how being a transgendered person has affected your family situation? Well, the first thing that happened when I I was publicly going to my uh, parents' home dressed as a woman, my father told me that if I have to to be dressed as a woman, I may forget to uh, to come in the future. And you know what I have done? What? Exactly what he told me. I have forgotten to go back at, at my parents' home. So you're no longer in contact with your parents? Yes, because three months after, my par my father called me back and said, well, uh, you may come back. But for three months, you just... Yes. Really? And you were ready to walk away from your family? Yes, yeah, because if I, I have no choice. I cannot, you know, you know the old proverb, you may bring uh, uh, a horse to the river, but you cannot uh, force him to, uh, force to drink. Him to drink. Uh -huh. It's the same thing. Uh, were you if they don't accept me like that, they don't accept me, and, and that's how. Were you living with your parents when this happened? No. No, I, uh, I was in my own house. And uh, asking about, do you have your own family, and how did they react to this decision? Well, I, will fi fi um, uh, I have lost the the spouse, I mean, were the spouse, the, the common law wife that I have at this time, mm -hmm. and I found a new one three years later. Okay, so when you were with your first common law wife, this was before the operation? Yes. And did you ever confide in her that you had these feelings? Did she know that you were... She knew, she knew about that uh, because uh, the first day that I met her in, the, in 1982, I uh, showed myself dressed as a woman. But, uh, you know, dressed as a woman at home is one thing. Dress as a woman outside is another thing, and be a public figure in house, newspaper, radio, and television station, it's another thing too. So when it became too public, she just uh, stepped down. So usually, w usually when you are a TG or a TS or a TV full time, you lost uh, family, you lost spouse, you lost children, you lost some friends, and so on. So it's not a surprise to to lose someone. But uh, you have to deal with. You have the choice between the wife, the life that you wish to live, or uh, the life that someone will impose to you. You know, I will give you an example. When I have chosen my wedding dress because uh, I got uh, I got into matrimony two years ago, one of the seller told me uh, a story about one of her customer. They were two girls, two lesbians who mm -hmm. wished to go into matrimony. And both wished to wear uh, a pants and a tuxedo smoking, something like that. And there was no problem for the two girls. But one of the mothers uh, do a very huge crisis to his daughter and told her that if she does not put a dress on her wedding, all the family will not come, she will be banned and so on. And that's all. So the girl, in cry in tears, just put a dress for the wedding and she was crying all during the wedding. And one that flirt told me about that, you know what was my answer? What? What was your answer? I said, if I was this girl, what I w would have done would be very simple. I will say, okay, mother, I will put a dress up on you. We will take how many pictures that you wish, but before the wedding. And you will take 10 or 100 pictures if you wish. I will be lovely in a dress. And after you have the, the wedding uh, shot session will be over, I will put back my smoking and get into matrimony in a smoking with my girlfriend in a smoking too. Because it will be my wedding and it will be the, it will be my picture for my wedding. So uh, if I do not wish to see me in a dress, I will see me in a smoking like uh, uh, my girlfriend too. But she, uh, she was not thinking about that. She put a dress uh, and uh, she has a picture of her uh, in a wedding dress and she does not show them because she ate uh, her uh, looking at her in, uh, in the dress. It is our wedding, so it is the way that you must do. It's the way that we wish to to see us in in the future. How do you balance doing what you want for yourself and wanting to, you know, please your family? Because that is something that's important to a lot of people is to is to make their family happy and, and to please them. But I have something that they may seem very easier. I have just one life to live. And I wish to live it as a woman. So if you don't like that, if you don't like that, that's all. Forget about me. 
It's not the life for the other that I have to live. It's mine. It's my life. So if I wish to to uh, uh, to live as a woman with a broad dress and teeth and so on, it is my choice. I will not cho uh, change my choice just to please you and to unplease me. So you may, look. It's it's like when you are a black or an homosexual. You are black and you are black. So accept me as a black. If you don't accept me, uh, I will say, have my uh, my finger in your. <coughs> but. Uh, it's me, that's all. If I am gay, I am gay, I love men, and that's all. If I am uh, handicapped, I, I am missing a leg, I don't have my leg. So, you may like it or not like it, you may feel uncomfortable, but I don't have my left leg. So, what do you wish that I say? I don't have it. So, it's just people that must live with us the way that we are. Now, let's talk about when you first made the decision to go through the operation at this point um, you were you were with uh, a, a woman don't forget that I am still uh, I may say half in the processes I am not the full TS right now I am still a TG oh, what is a transgender it? so it means that I have boobs uh -huh. but I have I have, I have what I see a beautiful external big clitoris okay so you haven't gone you haven't finished the entire operation that's process. right all right. And I have no reason to go further right now. So you'd be happy staying the way you are? For the moment, why not? Because my spouse, my new one, the one that I married two years ago, loved this little extra. Okay, so you haven't completely um, lost the penis. That's right. You still have something there, which is... A big one. I'm sure you're not big to match yours. <laughs> I can't comment on that without getting into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but you may figure it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure our listeners can have very good imaginations, and, and they can fill in the the gaps themselves. And uh, our list, the listener will <laughs> be able to do it. So. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> what was it that made you decide to go through that operation? I mean, you were already you were already uh, a transvestite at the time. Yes, I, I live full time as a woman. Since May 13, 1998. May 13, 1998. And th is that after you had the operation, or is that when you went into the uh, trans... Uh, no, at this date was very easy. If I wish to live uh, as a man, as a woman, I have to change of clothing at least uh, four, five, six times a day. Mm -hmm. So put makeup, remove makeup, put dress, remove dress, put shirt, remove shirt, put blouse. So, so it was completely crazy. So I say, okay, from this day, May 13, 1998, no more a man, just a woman. And that's all. You're listening to Frank Talks Pleasures and Lifestyles, and we'll be back right after this.